I am the most comfort looking person in the world and I yeah I've never gone out of my comfort zone so I had not even been camping before. What I was expecting uh, was a landscape um, filled with with watercourses and heathland and and some undulating terrain. I think what we actually found was was something far more wild and exciting than that. Um, a landscape, snow-capped uh, peaks, uh, watercourses, waterfalls, snow bridges, wild animals, deers, reindeers, and just a, a, quite a challenging environment. I've really sort of had, had a lot of time to reflect on who I am. Um, I've had opportunities to be, you know, by myself in the wilderness, realise just how small I am in the world. I've, I think I've, I've grown a lot as a person, just even over the week that we've been doing it. And, um, you know, I've got some, hopefully some big changes to take through in my personal and professional life. So the reason why I come here is because I thought that all of my physical and mental boundaries were going to be pushed. I needed that push, I needed that change and pressure within me for my true self to come out. I am not accustomed to bad weather and, and the cold. And I did not realise, in fact, it, it hadn't, even, hadn't even crossed my mind that in the middle of June, we would spend our whole week walking in the snow. And that for me, actually, that putting myself in, in an extreme environment that I know I'm uncomfortable with was, I think, the boundary that I was most concerned about. It wasn't going to be the physical thing. It was going to be how do I mentally, um, how do I mentally deal with being freezing cold the whole time? It took us two to three days, really, to start to gel as a team. And that made it, that made the, the initial couple of days really difficult. I think when we, when we realized um, that actually the, the group and the, and the team could share a, a common goal, everything was more enjoyable. There was icing on, on, on every cake. And, and I think the, the journey was a lot richer because of that. Part of the process of doing an MBA is to understand how you can manage relationships. It's to build a network of people that will be around you for the rest of your life. Another part of the MBA is understanding how you can change yourself, understanding how you can become a leader. Initially, I was very concerned about having to sleep in a tent with um, four other people. I think I probably avoided thinking through that element of it as, well, maybe there'll be several tents, maybe I'll have my own tent. Um, but actually the reality of that wasn't so bad after all and we were a really strong team and we had lots of fun together. Um, yeah, I've got to admit it's the first time I've ever eaten dehydrated food. Uh, but add a bit of water, make some porridge or some pasta and let it, 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 it tastes good when you've been trekking for 12 hours. And we walked for a couple of hours in the morning and we hit this valley and there was, there, we couldn't see an immediate way across and there was this challenging kind of leadership discussion about do we go left? Freddie went and scouted out and checked it out and it was quite clear when he looked there that there was no way of passing that river. And Carol went and, and scouted around the rivers and, and actually came back up and said, look, there is a potential river crossing, but it's, it's going to be cold it's, and it's not going to be that nice. Um, but it was at that point our only option. The opportunity we have here is to bring students out into a, an environment that's very different from the workplace, force them to face real challenges over a period of time and force them to understand or help them to understand how they can grow as people and react to those challenges, how they can get the best out of the relationships and the team that they're working with. 
I hope this experience affects actually my everyday life. I think it will. I feel so positive and happy right now that I don't see it happening in other ways. Some of the experiences we encountered um, in the park we'll, we'll never experience again. 